All right, so Barcelona are kind of in a kind of in a weird spot right now. I mean, they've been bounced out of the Champions League, so they're going to be in the Europa League. And currently, they're about 15 points off the top in La Liga, which is not good. But hey, they signed Ferran Torres. The whole story about Barcelona was they have no money, and all of a sudden, they signed Ferran Torres, like out of nowhere. So maybe there is some hope for this team. And in this video, we're going to try to rebuild Barcelona and make them the best team in the world once again. So we're going to we're going to sim every game. And if we get to a Champions League final, we will play it. That is the end goal of this video. So drop a like if you want to see more videos like this. And also leave in the comments which team you want us to do next. Which team do you want to see us rebuild? Because for the next one, I'll probably pick from the comments. And also subscribe to the channel if you have not. So we're going to disable the first summer transfer window because we're only going to make signings in January, just like Barcelona in real life. And we'll also be in the Europa League, of course. And that is pretty much it. So rebuild starts now. All right, so for this full rebuild, we're going to be using the 4-3-3, the classic 4-3-3. But like I said, the window, the transfer window is disabled. So we're only going to make signings in the first season in January. So we're pretty much just going to sim the first half of the season with this team. I feel like we might do a little bit better in the league than uh, Barcelona are doing in real life, just because these players in FIFA are a little bit better than I think. But we're for sure going to be in the Europa League. I will make sure of that for uh, for the first season. We need to clean this team out. We need to clean this team out to, uh, to a decent degree. And then, of course, try to make that fit on Torres signing in January. All right, so we pretty much uh, simmed to January. And this table actually looks realistic. We're down in Sixth. That is that is pretty close to real life. So we're in sixth. We're in the Europa League uh, knockout stage. But now it is time to make some changes to this team and actually start the rebuild. And the player to start the rebuild is Ferran Torres. I'm still shocked Barcelona even made the signing. To be honest. Like, where did this money come from? I know they're doing it in payments, but like their debt was huge. It's still a, still a shock. And uh, okay, okay, Pep's Pep's being a rough negotiator in this. 110 million, and you got yourself a deal. That is a deal. All right, so if Torres is signed up, he'll join us in when January actually starts. We also need to sell some players. So we've transferred listed Coutinho. He's he's gonna be gone. Also Sergio Roberto, Umtiti, Longley, and Dembele. So we're gonna try to sell all five of these players to start the rebuild. The rebuild process. All right, so MTD has been sold to Napoli, and Chelsea have approached Usman Dembele on a pre-contract. So should we? Just, I think we should just let that happen, to be honest. So we'll keep him. We'll keep Dembele for the rest of the season, but he'll join Chelsea next season. I think that's a pretty good outcome there. Now, Sergio Roberto looks like he's going to Man City, which I think is fine too. Also, our homegrown talent, this guy uh, Julio Miranda, he does not look bad, and he's going to be a 76 rated right winger. Honestly, he does not look that bad. He might play a part in this video. We'll see. All right, so now Longley has been sold too. So Longley and Umtiti have been sold. And and then Dembele and Roberto are going to uh, the Premier League next season. So we kind of need to buy a new center back. I feel like we do need a new center back for sure. All right. So for the center back spot, Christensen has been linked to Barcelona in real life. I don't know how credible it is, but he's out of contract, I think. So he'd not be a bad pickup. Not the greatest signing, but he wouldn't be a bad pickup. And we need a center back. So I think we're going to go after him. All right. 57 million. 57 million is kind of a lot for him, but he's only 25. He's 83. Probably some room to grow there. And like I said, we, we do need a center back. And now I'd also like a striker. And there's a player who has been linked also in real life who uh, is not playing for their team at all. And that is Anthony Martial. Now, I think this wouldn't be a bad little uh, pickup for Barcelona. I mean, he's basically replacing uh, De Jong, Luke De Jong. I mean, that's a pretty good replacement right there. So, Fernand Torres, Christensen, and hopefully Anthony Martial will be signed up. Yes, they will. That's three signings so far. And also, funny enough, Coutinho has been sold back to Liverpool. They came in for him, so it makes sense. We actually got a decent amount of money left. We make one more thing. We don't really have a CDM. We don't really have a backup CDM, so I kind of feel like maybe we should pick that up. I mean, can we turn Nico into a CDM? Remember in our Barca series, I couldn't do that. Can we finally do that now after they've updated the squads? Because he is basically, he's, I mean, he's like a box to box, but can he be a CDM? 27 weeks? Um, I think I'm fine with that. We'll switch them there. That'll take like what? Four months? So next season will be a CDM. I think that's fine. So I think that is all the signings for uh, for this first season. So Ben on Torres, Christensen, and then Anthony Martial to be the backup striker. So we've climbed up a little bit in January. We now we're in third place, which is pretty good. I think goal this season should be top four because as you can see, Atletico Madrid are just running away with the title. So top four is the goal. So we're going to sim to the end of the season and see how this first season went. Maybe even a Europa League final at the end of it. All right. So end of season one. Where did we finish? We were in third and now we finish in fourth. So five points above fifth. It's not bad. We still get champions. Like that was the goal. Even the board wanted us to finish in a Champions League spot. So it's not bad for the first season. It's not bad. And Atletico Madrid won the title. I think we won the Supercopa. Yeah, we did. So we got we got that trophy. It's not bad. But we were eliminated in the Spanish Cup very early on by uh, Via Cano, which is not good. So Europa League, round of 16. We beat Juventus 4-2. Juventus 4-2. Real Madrid in the Europa League 2. What are these teams? Okay, quarterfinals. We beat Sevilla 4-0. Semis, Real Betis 3-2, and we're facing, no, RB Leipzig. I was going to say AC Milan. So, Barcelona in the Europa League final. I think most Barca fans would take this 
this season considering how the season has went we finished top four and we got a chance to win a a decent sized trophy it's a it's a stepping stone to where we're trying to go the so europa league final can we get the job done first team looks pretty decent can we get the europa league final in the first season can we win the europa league yes we can 2-1 barcelona claimed the europa league title in season one barcelona are back not really because uh, it's just the europa league but that is a pretty good stepping stone in the first season so supercopa and the europa league and top four i will take that as a season one in terms of stats memphis to went off 34 goals um dambelli is in pedri 12 and 11 from the midfield that's actually pretty good on so only eight not that great where is our new signing fit on torres two goals that's it fit on torres we spent all the money on you and that's all you score what a disgrace we're gonna need more of you in season two all right so season two begins now this is where we maybe could make some bigger changes to this team i think i feel like we need a new right back um a new cdm and then after that pretty much just bolster the bench i think i don't think i'm expecting to go all the way to the champions league final this season but uh we gotta start building towards that you know i think a right back for this team that would be really good is uh is dump freeze and i have not signed him this year he actually looks really good 26 83 overall i think that's i think he might be perfect we uh we let sergio barito go so we need a new right back and he looks like he would be pretty damn decent for 45 million that's not that much either so first signing of season two dump freeze we have our new right back now busquets is decent but i feel like we need a new cdm um uh, i think i might have the perfect player in mind one of my favorite cdms in this game and that is dennis zakaria i mean he's gonna go to a new team really soon and he's literally one of my favorite players in fifa so i think he'd be perfect for this barcelona team get some uh get some pace in that midfield could play at center back two maybe and just like that we have our new cdm in uh zakaria so season two dumfries and zakaria the first two signings all right so we got trincao back from alone which uh, we're going to keep him. We got Zakaria. We got Dumfries. I feel like we kind of need another winger. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make Martial a left winger. And then we're going to sign a new backup striker. And that is someone who has been linked very heavily. And that is Morata from Atletico Madrid. Kind of a weird, uh, weird link to Barcelona. But it's been linked. And uh, for a backup striker, I don't think he'd be that bad. Plus, I don't think he'll be that expensive. So uh, we're going to sign him up. All right. Pjanic has been sold to Real Madrid. Yeah, this is going a little bit off the rails. Yeah, so I think pretty much for the second season, for the first part of the second season, this is the squad that we're rocking with. So, I mean, Zakaria, Dumfries, pretty good additions. Also, Morata. Are we are we title challengers? I'm not sure. I don't feel like we are. Or champions and contenders. But uh, we'll send to January and see how things look. All right. So, into January we go. Let's see how we're looking. Um, We're in second place. But we're very close to uh, Atletico Madrid. That's not bad. Two points off them. Probably would be uh, five points with their game in hand. Honestly, it's not bad. I don't expect like a whole lot from this team in this second season. Hey, but at least in the group stage, we did really good. Four wins, two draws. Un unbeaten the group stage with AC Milan, Porto, and uh, Dynamo Kiev. That's not bad. And round of 16. Round of 16, we had drawn Man City. They finished second in their group. How unfortunate is that? They finished second in that group. Oh, that's so unfortunate. We got Man City round of 16. It is a trial by fire for this uh this young team i mean it's not exactly young but uh i mean we're, look, we're actually looking a lot better some players are growing we're actually not looking that bad so should we make any changes Wait, we're kind of missing a right back we're kind of missing someone who are we missing because neto is not here oh dest is gone did Dest get sold? Oh, he might have got sold by the... Yeah, he got sold to Leeds. That might have been a release clause or he was unhappy or something. So we need another right back. Uh, Kind of like right now. You know what? Juan Cuadrado, screw it. We just need a backup. That's all we need for this season. And it's only going to cost like 11 million for him. So um, I'm cool with this. So there is the backup right back now. And uh, I mean, what changes could we make? I don't want to change the front three. I think the front three looks really good. Midfield also looks really good. Like the only thing I can think about is maybe a new left back over Jordi alba but he is the captain and he's still 83 it's not bad or a new center back and we make a raujo the uh the third choice i mean like uh i don't really want to sign a young center back to pair alongside christensen we kind of need someone with experience like uh like a virgil van dyke signing like a signing in the back that will transform the defense and uh there's there's one player who might do that for us and that is Koulibaly it's a pretty straightforward option but he's 86 he's only gonna be probably 50 million I kind of feel like he would be that transformative signing for us right now might be a little bit more than 50 million but we got the money for it and this might this probably be the only signing we make alongside a uh, quadrado I am all for it he's 31 but we might get the uh, like at least one or two years of him that's pretty good and this will definitely improve our chances this season this is a big upgrade at the back so Koulibaly the big signing of January so he will come up and Partner Christensen. That defense, that defense looks pretty good, actually. Dumfries, Koulibaly, Zakaria. I think we actually look pretty damn decent. Bench 
is kind of eh, but uh, starting 11 looks really good. But I think that's the only sign we're going to make in January. So we're in second place. We got Man City in the Champions League. It's uh, it's going to be tough. All right, so Man City round of 16. Well, we do have a pretty big injury. Fred on Torres is out for three weeks, so he'll miss the first leg. It could be worse, though. It could, it could be worse than that. Like, how do we stack up against Man City? Are we definitely not bad, but I don't think we're... Uh, were man city's quality the same quality first leg let's see maybe we can pull off an upset it's gonna be it's gonna be one one okay so we go back to spain for the second leg and we can maybe do something dramatic at home to uh to shock man city we are going to speak it into existence so ben on torres is back against his former club this is one one we can do this we can do this we can do this it's actually gonna be three one and we get past man city that is uh that is very I mean, maybe that maybe we're better than I'm thinking we are. Cause uh three one, we just beat them pretty convincingly. All right, on to on to the quarterfinals. So quarterfinals, you have Chelsea, another Premier League team, another good one. So now Christensen's face facing his former team. Diong is out for the first leg. Uh they have they have Usman Dembele, so this is a game of familiar faces. So Diong is out with the red. First leg against Chelsea is gonna be it's gonna be 2-1. Ansu scores and Ansu actually scores twice. Okay, 2-1 first leg. Not not job done, but that's a good first leg. Are we going to reach the Champions League semifinals? Young is back. And it's gonna be 1-1. One -one. That is enough. Heather scores, and that is enough to take down Chelsea. Yeah, maybe we're much better than I'm than I'm thinking we are. Because we are through to the semifinals of the Champions League in season two. There is a chance. There is there is a real chance here. Oh, we got PSG. We got PSG. We're facing Messi, probably. We are facing Leo. Yep, Messi's playing uh, at false nine. Mbappe on the left, Neymar on the right. They got Hummels. They got Limer. This might be where the road stops, where our run stops. We're a little bit tired, too, which is not good. But first leg against PSG is going to be it's going to be 2-1 to PSG. It's not over, but uh, that's not a good not a good first leg for us. But with no away goals, this is a possibility. So, same exact team is the dream run coming to an end no it is not we beat psg in paris 3-1 memphis scores twice then gal scores off the bench and we just we just came back again in paris and 4-3 on aggregate we are in the champions league final i was not expecting that we just we played we look at the front three the front three and pedity outplayed their whole entire team i was not expecting that champions league final in season two all right who do we got in the final it is not set yet. Who do we have in the Champions League final? We have Inter Milan, the one team that I always lose against. Oh, why does it have to be them? We match up well against them. But if you've watched my videos before, you know that Inter are my bogey team, the team I always lose against, especially in rebuild videos. And we're facing them in the final. It's just, we. Got, of course, I got to face my nemesis. Hey, we're in the Champions League final, though. We're in the Champions League final, at least. So let's sim to the end of La Liga and see how we have, we have done. All right, so... La Liga, how did this, this ended? We ended as champions of the league as well. 96 points, that's a lot of points. And still, only three points above Atletico Madrid, so it probably came down on the final day. Look at little Real Madrid. We're 20 points above them almost. That is unfortunate. Uh, So, La Liga trophy in season two. Yeah, maybe I underestimated us for this season. I, I must have, because I did not think we'd do this in season two. I thought we'd do it around like season three or four. Not in season two, but we are we are we are that team right now. Uh, we lost the Copa del Rey final, though, against uh, Real Madrid, which is not good. Europa League, Real Sociedad won. So maybe it's uh, going to be a Spanish-themed European champions. Oh, I'm not looking forward to playing Inter, though. I'm not looking forward to playing Inter Milan. So Memphis, again, 37 goals and 21 assists. Memphis Depay is a beast in this game. Ansu, 22. De Jong, 17, 13. Torres, 13. Better, but not 60 to 70 million. We actually spent like 100 million on him. That's not a great return. Martial, 11. That's a pretty good return for the amount of games he played. But apparently Memphis is the leader of this team. Like 21 assists. That's nuts. So we're going to play the Champions League final. And if anyone's wondering, we currently play on ultimate uh, competitive mode on. Player based difficulty on. And then in terms of sliders, everything you user is default except the injury sliders uh everything else is default and for the cpu their pass error is on seven and their injury sliders are the same as users and then the other only other one is that is changed is uh first touch control for the cpu is 20. so it makes their their ball control a lot better and it also makes their passing much better just a further reason why i don't want to play play inter milan but we got to do it just something about inter milan i get bad vibes from inter milan even though i have nothing against them in real life it is it is purely fifa FIFA base. They got Smith Rowe, Chalanolu, Brozovic, Barella still. Bastoni, Skriniar, Martinez, Voland. And it's a, it's a good team. Although I don't know why Smith Rowe. 
is so far up on the left doesn't seem very uh very defensively minded and i mean should we make any changes i don't think uh, we will we are going with this lineup so Champions League final, Barcelona v Inter Milan. Let's let's try not to lose to Inter Milan. I will not lose to Inter Milan again. I will not let it happen. We're playing in the Bernabeu, which is kind of like it's kind of like bad juju for Barcelona, I think. But hey, we can't. Have, we were playing in the Bernabeu and we're facing Inter Milan. This is just a recipe for a disaster. But we are kicked off. Champions League final. Let's just let's just not lose. Let's win. Speak it into existence. We are the better team, and we're going to win this. I've found on these sliders to a lot of games to be very high scoring. So I feel like this game might follow that. And we're just trying to... They're, they're sitting way back. I thought they wouldn't be that defensively minded, but it looks like they are. And we just we just skimmed the crossbar with Ferran Torres. What a start that would have been. All right, that's a good sign. It's a very good sign. All right, into our box for the first time, Jordi Alba. Oh, the captain of the team. The defending is immense. And we are countering Ferran Torres. The new man. The new man of Barcelona scores the first goal in the Champions League final. I mean, they're not playing with fullbacks. Like, they're not playing with even wingbacks. They're playing with Smith Rowe as like a, a cam on, a, on that side. This side we just scored on, I think. Like, that is literally the reason we scored. Because Smith Rowe is playing that far forward. And it's uh, the new signing, Ferran Torres. I just want to say, we signed Torres in the Barcelona series. And a certain number of people called me uh, unrealistic for signing him. And then look what happens. They sign him in real life. I'm just going to say that. And this has been a great start, actually. I might actually get the better of Inter Milan for once in a, in a decent amount of time. Torres. Torres. It's good defending. Hey, okay, this is a long shot right here. No, it's not. Now it's a long shot from Memphis gonna be over the net all right the confidence level as soon as i say that I just give it right to them i was about to say the confidence level is much higher it just dropped in five seconds though all right, with uh, smith throw on that side though ferran torres is going to continue to eat as Jordi alba is just defending great right now the uh the experience of the team De Jong to ferran torres they look so weird getting back they're playing such a weird formation like why is everyone why are they just, oh, I wanted to flip it up to uh, Torres. Why is their formation so weird? I don't get it. At least, like, defending-wise, it's uh, it's weird. Maybe going forward, it's decent, but I don't know. Oh, I'm about to eat my words. I am about to eat my words. Koulibaly, I need you. Oh, good challenge. Goes right back to Barella. Ter Stegen makes the save. That was very lucky. It was uh, lucky for them, but also we're pretty lucky we did not concede there. I mean, so far, so good, though. Got to keep it up. Jordi Alba, good run, back to Memphis, and that shot was right at the center back. We can't get we can't get that around the center back. Oh, Ansu, oh, that's that's over the net. We do not look bad though. 25 minutes in, we do not look that bad. Just uh, I'm never comfortable with the one nil lead. Where was that pass going? That wasn't even even in the general area of anyone. Okay, Jordi Alba might be the might be the man of the match so far with his defending. I just gave okay. We need to lock in because we're not locked in right now. We're starting to get a little bit too comfortable with this 1-0 lead. And it could disappear in two seconds. Just like this. Just like this. And Zakaria puts in the block though. Okay, now we have to take advantage of this three at the back. Ansu, you got the pace. Oh, that first touch was not as good as I thought it would be. But there is the 2-0 lead. The new number 10 for Barcelona scores in the Champions League final. And this is 2-0 in what I believe was the 35th minutes it has been a decent first half more than decent i would say all right so far so good i said it we are not gonna lose this game and i will speak it into existence i will not allow it on is in on is in memphis memphis that needs to be so much better there let's make this three before halftime let's do it pedri pedri uh that needs to be a bit better to be honest memphis to de jong now uh, torres is making a really good run there Rudy Alba, show your expertise once again okay he kind of got destroyed there not exactly showing expertise he's back though oh he's just so good how is Jordi Alba so good right now he is the lowest rated defender but he is making the the right tackle every single time and we got numbers we got numbers and that cross is literally right at screen here I'm gonna I'm gonna be sick ball to Pedri Zakaria do you have a long shot I don't think you do let's go to De Jong 
Yes, yeah, not a bad shot. That was a really good shot, actually. Handanovic makes the save, and we almost stole that. But that is the first half. 2 0 up. So far, so good. All I can say is let's continue this. We need to continue this. Yeah, I mean, I might jinx it by saying this, but they have not been that good in this game, which does put a smile on my face. Memphis. Memphis to Pedri. There's no way that Pedri just sent that into the stands. There's no way. How is this this bad? How is it that bad? I'm about to take him off. All right, that's a good ball into Smith Rowe. Go back to Arsenal. Dumb freeze, almost blocked that. How? I thought it was a penalty for a second. That made me a little bit nervous. I don't know how he even got his head on that. I like that. Ansu, do the job. Ansu does the job. But on Torres wins it back. Ansu, that works. I will take it. That works. Memphis, need a better ball. That's a good ball. Torres into De Jong. Oh, we just can't find that final, final touch there. They have not been good, though. Like, at all. Memphis, shot is going to be blocked. Keeps it. Keeps it. He also, oh, they handled it. Okay. We got a free kick opportunity. I will take it. This is extremely close. Who is taking this? Who is the best free kick taker? Is it Memphis? Yeah, it's going to be Memphis by far. This is a goal. I have not scored a free kick in a long time. That ends now. Yellowed it. Off the crossbar. Oh, Zakaria just took out that dude. That should be a foul. Pedri, redeem yourself. At least it was on target. Oh, second chance. That was terrible. And... Ferran Torres. Oh, that's into the back of the net. What a hit by Ferran Torres. We're 3-1 up, or 3-0 up, not 3-1. So much for Inter Milan being my Bowie team. Because we're 3-0 up. I don't know what that throw it is by the keeper. But Ferran Torres, this is a good hit. Uh, keeper got something on it, but not enough. 3-0. This is looking good so far. It's looking very good. Okay, this is looking good, though. This is not looking good. Where is the pass at? Goes to Voland. Oh, this does not look good. This. What is he doing? Literally, what is he doing? Jordi Alba just... Oh, he steals the ball again. He's amazing. He just did like seven step overs in 0 0.2 seconds. Ansu, you got the pace. Oh, Ansu's got the pace. Turn on the Jets. And it ends like that. All right, once again in the box. They've had a few. They're looking a little bit better. Just a tiny bit. I don't think it'll be enough, though. Oh, Christensen. What a, what a challenge. All right, Gavi is on for Pedri because Pedri had that horrendous shot. I do not forget that. Martinez. Oh, that's that's such a weak shot. You're staking. <laughs> he barely has to save that. Oh, Inter, what have you done to yourselves this game? You have embarrassed yourselves on the biggest stage. Dennis in to Memphis. Back to Dennis. Did not work. That did not work. Evidently clear. And they might be in because of this. Christian Eriksen. You're not even allowed to play. Okay, that's out. That looked pretty decent, but defending has been too good this game. And oh, Ansu. Ansu, that goes right at the defender. Memphis, get it to Ansu. Someone just get it forward. How do we not get that ball forward? Oh, oh. That was that was a good ball. 3-1. They got, what, 15 minutes? Nah, it's not happening. Nah. Clean sheet is gone, but it's not like the clean sheet matters. It's the win that matters, and we're throwing up still. So your little snake jerseys can enjoy this, but it's 3-1 with 15 minutes left. It is. It is not happening. Nah. 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 No. No. That's... It's 3-2. They just scored two goals in four minutes. Oh, I, I like it. You can smell it. You can like see it and you can smell it when the when they're coming forward like that one to score, when the CPU wants to score. Oh, they just... I mean, I'm, I'm controlling Zakaria. I mean, why... Did I control Koulibaly there? Did I rush the guy with the ball? Did I drag him out or did he do that? I actually... I don't even know. All right. Still not happening. 3-2. Still not happening. We got 10 minutes. Oh, all my trash talk is about to be just shoved back right in my face. Nah. No, nah, we're scoring another. We're scoring another, and we are sealing this. Okay, why am I so nervous now? Gavi, great steal. Can we please just seal this here? But on Torres, but on Torres, but on Torres. Oh, we couldn't get it. Memphis. Oh, we can't. Oh, the nerves have gone up at an alarming rate to finish this game. Okay, Smith throw. I don't know what that is. I will take that. Okay, they're pressing. They're pressing. Just calm. Get it? No, that's supposed to go to Memphis. That was supposed to go to Memphis. Oh, this game. This game hurts my brain. It hurts the brain. Not like this. EA, don't do it to me. EA, don't do it to me. 
Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Oh, Ter Stegen. That might be the best save I've ever seen in my life. That might be the best save. Ter Stegen just saved me. Literally just saved me. What a save by the German. Oh, my life just flashed from my eyes. Okay, they have a corner and they've just brought on Jekko. This is not good. He is a very tall, large human being, but that is going to be cleared by Torres. Okay, Torres win this, please. The new signing wins it. Oh, it doesn't go that far, though. No, not like this, not like this, not like this, not like this. Oh, Ter Stegen makes the save again. Literally the same exact, same exact save. Just the other side of the goal. Ter Stegen is absolutely saving me right now. What a save. That one was a little bit easier. It was like literally the same exact save. Okay, we got two minutes. Ansu clears that. That is a good clearance by Ansu. Chase. Chase. Two minutes. Oh, someone might be injured. Ansu might be injured. He's... Oh, Jordi Alba again. Oh, the captain might have done it. The captain. Okay, what, what did their center back just do? He just got out of the way so Jordi Alba could run forward. What am I watching? Seal it. Oh, that ball makes me want to cry. But it doesn't matter. It does not matter. 3-2. Oh, the comeback was almost on there. It was almost on. I got very nervous. I will not lie. I got very, very nervous. What? 3-2. We do not lose to Inter Milan. That makes me so happy. Not this time. Not this time. Bro, out of all my reboot videos, I feel like I've got Inter Milan probably like probably like 60 or 70% of the time I've got Inter Milan in the Champions League finals. It's crazy. But this time we get the better of inter milan and i mean man of the match in my in my eyes jordi alba he made so many good defensive plays gets to lift the champions league trophy for barcelona we have done it in season two i thought it'd take like maybe four seasons but it's only taken two seasons uh, maybe i underestimated this team i think in fifa some of the some of the ratings of the players here are kind of bit over overrated a little bit i think but uh we have done it in two seasons that is rebuild complete so that is that is it for this rebuild so drop a like if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you have not um leave a comment on which team you want to see us do next because i will pick for the comments for the next rebuild and yeah just appreciate any support you guys can show on this video i'd appreciate it so much but that is the end job is complete barcelona champions league winners once again